Hello tubers, today we will talk about the pros and cons of the various types of RV hot water heaters you may choose as a replacement for when yours fail. Most RV techs estimate about a 10 year average lifespan on water heaters if they are used continuously. For my full time viewers, you may recall that my RV water heater failed just a day or so before I left for Hawaii. Since I'm now back in Canada, living in the motorhome, I had to make a decision on what I was going to do. I will talk about the pros and cons that you may consider if and when you are faced with replacing your RV water heater. Two of the main manufacturers of 6 and 10 gallon water heaters are Suburban and Atwood. You can find which type you have and the model number by opening up your access door outside your RV and looking at the model label attached to the unit. The majority of the water heater types originally sold installed inside your RV were either propane only or a propane electric hybrid. There is a third type that has been available in recent years that is a tankless type but we will talk more about those later. For most people, cost is probably the biggest factor in replacement of their water heater, but I will challenge you to think about the long-term costs also, not just the initial purchase price when making a decision on a new heater. Many people merely replace their originally installed water heater with another exact model, and that certainly makes sense most of the time. But I would challenge you to consider an upgrade, and you will most certainly save some money over the lifetime of the unit. For example, if you had a propane only water heater, as I did, installing an electric propane unit would save you money, especially if you're not required to pay for your electricity while at campgrounds. Alternatively, installing an instant on tankless heater would also save you money, as you would never have to pay to heat hot water that just sits in a tank awaiting use later. Let us consider the pros and cons of these various systems. Propane only water heater. Pros. Faster than electric water heating mode, reliable especially the self-ignition units versus the old pilot light types that would blow out in high wind. Cons: Efficiency drops in high elevation and low temperature environments. Propane costs are always a concern. You are always paying to heat hot water in a tank that will be used later. Hybrid electric, assuming electric mode. Pros, you can save money over propane if you do not have to use electricity when you camp. You can extend your time between propane fill-ups. The electric part of the circuit is more efficient at high elevation and low temperatures. There is also faster water heating when using both the electric and propane circuits simultaneously. Cons, heating time is slower than propane in electric only mode. Electricity can be more expensive in some places than propane. You are always paying for either propane or electricity to heat water in a tank that will be used later. Tankless propane heater. Pros. Hot water is instant and virtually unlimited, limited only to how much propane you have on board. You save money on propane as you don't pay to keep hot water hot in a tank continuously. Unit also has less weight than a conventional propane electric unit. Cons. Prices for tankless instant on water heaters are much higher than conventional units. Low temperature, high elevation use also lowers efficiency. Extreme low temperature use may require additional accessories and installation. So you may ask, what unit did I choose? I upgraded from a propane only to a propane electric hybrid unit as it oddly was only two dollars more over the original unit replacement model. As I do not pay for electricity in most places that I camp, this unit will also save me about $20 a month over using propane only and allow me to go much longer between propane fill-ups. The unit that you will want to choose should be based on your personal needs and how and when and where you use your RV, which obviously will vary from person to person. And don't forget to at least consider the long-term costs of the unit that you will purchase. Just some food for thought, folks. So keep your wheels on the ground, and I'll see you all on the road soon.